What does power mean to you? Is it control, freedom to do what you want, influence over others, glamour, money, fame, high social status? Or perhaps you are coming from a different point of view and you find the source of your inner power in looking forward to your eternal and better existence sometime after you die? We alone define our own power and our own limitations. Whether you take on power is based on social or religious conditioning, personal desires or longing for a better world and afterlife, it is always your choice. And such choice rarely reflects the true power of your mind. It is more likely based on your vision of the world and your vision of yourself. Remember that consciousness is what it is, a vibration, a current, a signal that lasts as long as it is developing, progressing and remaining aware of itself. To learn more about the consciousness that we are, you might want to have a look at the works of the theoretical quantum physicist Dr. Fred Allen Wolf, who was featured in the movie What the Bleep Do We Know? He brought cutting-edge quantum theory down to earth and further by heralding proof of ancient spiritual principles for a mainstream audience, became the first physicist ever to break into pop culture as a celebrity. As the consciousness that we are, we do have a choice to either persist or perish. There is a way to sustain the existence of the consciousness that we are through progress, which allows for constant development of our awareness. The consciousness that we are is not limited to either the material or spiritual world and it won't perish as long as it is progressing and remaining aware of itself. What you do with the power of your mind is your choice. Whether we believe it or not, what we think we become. No other power in the world has equally profound effect on our life journey as the power of our own mind. No matter what our circumstances, no matter where we were born, no matter where we are going, we all can learn and use the power of our mind. For some, it will be a longer process. Others have already been doing it, without being conscious of it. The power of our mind can be altered, trained or induced. The power of our mind is simply a tool, a tool helping us to better understand ourselves, the world we live in, to find our purpose, to look into our heart and then convey its truth. To free our heart from fear of life, we need to first look into our mind. Freedom from any limitations begins in our mind. Freedom from limitations is the base of happiness and when it comes to freedom and happiness, there is nobody else who can give it to us but ourselves. Nelson Mandela said, Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Remember, our mind can be trained. Human brain constantly keeps evolving and altering. Our brain waves change according to what we're doing and feeling. For instance, beta brain waves of a frequency 12 to 38 hertz dominate our normal waking state and are present when we are alert, focused, engaged in problem solving, decision making, judgment or any form of focused mental activity. On the other hand, alpha brain waves, 8 to 12 hertz, are present when we slow down, quiet our thoughts in a relaxation state but not quite meditate. Thanks to Alpha, we can be present in the here and now with the highest capacity for learning, almost genius-like. The most intriguing for science, however, are not only delta or theta brainwaves occurring in deep meditation and sleep, but especially gamma waves related to expanded consciousness, altruism and the higher virtues. Researchers 
are still puzzled by the fact that gamma rhythms modulate perception and consciousness disappearing under anesthesia or in a deep trance. Another mystery is how gamma is generated, since its frequency is above neuronal firing. Any process that changes your perception changes your brainwaves. You can learn how to use the brainwaves to improve your intelligence, expand your vision, and alter the reality that you live in. The power of your mind has no limits other than those you have imposed on yourself. Embrace your true power by opening your mind. Let yourself be the magnificent you you were meant to be.